Our next speaker is Laura White. She is a political economy and teacher certification student. Over her time at Tulane, she has participated in various social innovation and public service projects. Now a senior, she's planning on going into a career in education. Always amicable and ever so passionate, it is my great pleasure to introduce this inspiring Tulanean and a wonderful friend, Ms. Laura White. Hello, my name is Laura White, and this is a balloon covered in paper mache. I have been working on these with the third graders that I work with for one of my teacher certification classes. And I knew that there was bound to be some problems when you're working on this sort of project with that age of students. So I've been spending my weekends making lots of extra balloons. And I don't mind doing this because I've pretty much always spent my weekend doing things like this. Um, when I was in high school, I had um, some encounters with people that I really loved and cared about and saw them suffer from um, poverty and homelessness and other systemic issues. So I knew I had to do something. So I started spending my time figuring out what I had to contribute. And at that time, it was swimming. So I started a free swimming lesson program for low-income kids. And then I started working with other students and became um, a local leader of a student service organization. I started prom dress drives and French cultural immersion programs, all sorts of different things to try to get people my age to realize that we had a responsibility to look out for each other. And then I came to Tulane because it was such an appealing place for people who really believed these things. And I started to hang out with a lot of people who believed the same stuff I did. And I did like, two change makers and lots of service here. And now I'm a senior, and I'm looking to try and find a job and figure out what I'm going to do with my life. And I know a lot of my friends are as well. And it's hard sometimes to make an argument to everyone about why making change should be such an important part of everything that you do, including your job, but then also what you do when you're not on the job. The economy is bad. There are lots of problems. And when people ask me, well, why do you care so much about making change? I just say, because, <laughs> because I think it's important. But I know that this isn't enough for everybody. And to try and figure out what to say to people who um, didn't necessarily feel the same way as I did, uh, I started reflecting on my experience at Tulane and what I've learned. And what I've found is um, the best way that I've learned a lot of things that I think will be relevant to me later and no matter what I do, like how to communicate and how to be empathetic and some entrepreneurial skills. I've learned from making a difference in my community. If you want to learn um, to be more patient, try making paper mache globes with third graders. If you want to learn some entrepreneurial skills, work with a social venture in New Orleans. There are all these great op hands-on opportunities for you to make a difference and also learn things that you can take into the rest of your life. And I think the key thing here, and the key insight perhaps for education overall, is if we find these opportunities and encourage students and each other to take them on and to learn things like communication and like entrepreneurship through making our community better, the lines between being a change maker and doing good things and your job and your family and the rest of your life will begin to blur. And then you're a change maker throughout. So my call to action to you is to think of something that you want to learn or be better at, and then find a way to do it through improving your community and making a difference in the world. And soon you'll find that you can't help but be a change maker. Thank you.